The president says the consequences of an action on Ukraine are dire and that there is a lot of work to do on funding the government. We want to bring in White House correspondent Karen Travers along with ABC's Jay O'Brien on Capitol Hill uh, to talk about this. Jay, I want to start with you. Uh, we heard from Mike Johnson as he was leaving Capitol Hill earlier saying there will not be a government shutdown. He seemed pretty confident. And we all, we've also heard from the White House National Security Advisor who says the House Speaker, Mike Johnson, can bend the course of history by providing that aid to Ukraine. So what are the sticking points here? Well, and those comments directed at Johnson because he is really the stick in the mud on this Ukraine aid. Remember, a $95 billion package of aid for Ukraine and Israel and Taiwan already passed the Senate earlier this month. It's up to Johnson as to whether or not he wants to put that on the House floor for a vote. Johnson has expressed some skepticism about aid for Ukraine in the past. He's also said, as we've heard before in this saga, that he doesn't want to put a package that has aid for Ukraine on the House floor without border security provisions in that package. But remember, a bipartisan group of senators negotiated a package that looked exactly like that, and Johnson rejected it because it wasn't hard line enough. So now, in that room, in the White House, the only lawmaker, because of that package that passed the Senate, who is really holding up aid for Ukraine is Mike Johnson. So you can imagine the kind of pressure he's getting. Even Chuck Schumer had said, going into this meeting, that he was going to make this case for future funding for Ukraine directly to the speaker. And let's see if he bends. Karen, I want to bring you in on this. We heard from the president who said the aid for Ukraine is urgent. He says consequence of no inaction, no action in Ukraine is dire and also wants to figure out how to avoid a partial government shutdown. So why is President Biden calling this meeting right now? Obviously, these are some of his goals, but will it work? Yeah, pressure. That's the point of this meeting, to put pressure on House Speaker Mike Johnson to try to get that Ukraine aid across the finish line in the House that passed with bipartisan support in the Senate. And it's notable when you look around that room to see that two people in there from the Senate side, they got the job done that the president wants to see with that $95 billion bill already being passed. And now this is all about trying to put that pressure on House Speaker Mike Johnson to do the same. Then, of course, you also have the government funding issue, with Jay mentioning that big deadline coming up. And, you know, Mike Johnson wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with President Biden. They made many requests for that sit-down to talk about border security and immigration. The White House rejected those calls for that meeting. Instead, Speaker Johnson is getting this one, where this certainly looks like a bit of a five-on-one meeting, where there's going to be a lot of pressure on Johnson to pass that bill and get it done quickly. As you heard the president there saying, inaction is dire and the need for aid for Ukraine is very urgent. We certainly did hear that. Karen, thank you so much. Uh, so much uncertainty, but we will check back in uh, with both of you here shortly and see see what happens. Thank you so much. Uh, White House correspondent Karen Travers there at the White House and correspondent Jay O'Brien there on Capitol Hill. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.